Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today, got a short and sweet one for you. I'm gonna show you how to use one of these dual ray battery chargers. Has a few settings on there, so if you're not sure what setting you need to use for what application, then that's what this video is here to show you. So don't forget to subscribe. Let's come on in and show you what this thing can do. So as you can see, it has it's dual output, so here's the input power, 120 volts, which means just plugs into a regular outlet. And then the output power, you have 6 amps at 6 volts DC, so direct current. 2 amps at 12 volts DC, and 6 amps at 6 volts DC. Now, obviously, 6 volts is for a 6 volt battery. So if you have a 12 volt battery, do not use this one. It won't charge it worth a darn at all. It won't get it the proper voltage it needs. So if you have a car battery, which is mostly what these are used for, you have two amps at 12 volts. And you can see it's a green switch. So you switch it to whichever one you want. Two amps at 12 volts is what a lot of people call a trickle charge. It's just barely putting anything in there very slow, very um, mild charge. It's gonna, this is for something if you wanna put it over overnight or for a day or come back to it tomorrow. Um, or even if you forget about it and come to it next week, it's not gonna hurt anything. Um, it's just a very, very slow, very slow charge. Now if you go six amp at 12 volts, same thing, 12 volt battery but it's a little faster charge. Now, it's not a boost. It's not gonna just instantly give it the juice to start your car. So if you're in a bind or something, you need like a booster pack that kicks out like 30 amps or whatever that booster pack's rated. They're di rated differently. But this is a more uh, steady, faster charge. It's, it's for maybe put it on there, come back to it an hour later, and boom, you got enough juice to start your car. Um, the kicker with these, if you notice, there's no on-off switch. So always connect it to your battery first, and then plug it in, because as soon as you plug it in, um, then guess what, it's, it's going. So if you happen to have the two terminals here, if you happen to have them touching on the ground and you just plug this in, Sparks are going to fly, so you're going to have a fun time with that. So, I got a, I got my old truck I'm still working on, and I haven't started it in a while. That's going to be the next video, so stay tuned. I'm going to have another video for you on that, a little history with that truck and what I'm doing. So, I'm going to put it on 6 amps, 12 volts because I, I plan on coming back to it in an hour or two hours and see what the charge is. It has a gauge right over here. And then we're gonna go with that. So here, let me zoom in on my battery and I'll show you how to hook this up. All right, got my battery here. And you can see right here, negative, positive. Positive is red, negative is black. Sometimes it'll say it on the front of the battery, sometimes the side but most commonly it's on the top. So it's on plug, so I'm gonna put, it doesn't matter which one you put it on first because it's unplugged. So I'm gonna put the positive on there. And then I like to give it just a little twist so it gives a good grip on there. And then once that happens, then plug it into a standard outlet. And you can see, it's in, oops, let me focus on that a little bit. You can see it's in the red and it's gonna gradually get up to green. So I'm gonna come back and check it in, I don't know, an hour, two hours and just see where it's at. Hopefully it's in the higher green there. And yeah. So I got this thing on the charger. We got it at six amps, 12 volts. So I'm gonna come back in an hour or two, check on it and then I'll probably start working on my next video. So don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed.